Wayne Carini is an America car restorer and television personality, probably best known as the presenter of Chasing Classic Cars, which airs on the Motor Trend Channel. During his career on the show, Wayne has chased some of the most exotic cars in the world and acquired an impressive collection. He owns three companies and also does restoration work on the cars. His dedication to finding and restoring classic cars has solidified the TV show as one of the best automotive series in the world. Wayne was born in 1951 in Portland, Connecticut, and developed his passion for cars at an early age. His father owned a car restoration shop, and Wayne spent a lot of his childhood working beside his father and learning the craft. When he was just nine years old, Wayne took his first ride in a Ferrari, which had him hooked for life. After Wayne graduated college, his father offered to hand over the family business to him, an offer he couldn't refuse. His mentor, Francois Sicard, a former racing mechanic for Ferrari, taught him the art of Ferrari restoration. Since then, Wayne has worked on several famous people's cars, including for David Letterman and Ivan Lendl. He's also the owner of F40 Motorsports, Harine Caraziria, and Continental Auto Lid, all located in his hometown of Portland. Wayne's rise to fame came about when Jim Ostrowski, chief of Essex Television Group, noticed his dedication to classic cars and invited him to star in his own show. The two came to an agreement, and Chasing Classic Cars was born in 2008. In the following years, Wayne has also appeared in other TV shows, such as My Classic Car and Over Holland. The series Chasing Classic Cars follows Wayne as he travels across the country, searching for rare and valuable classic cars to appraise, restore, and most often sell. Throughout the show, viewers are treated to a behind-the-scenes look at the world of classic car restoration and the passion that drives Wayne's work. Along the way, Wayne encounters all sorts of interesting characters and uncovers incredible stories behind many of the cars he finds. One of the reasons why chasing classic cars is so popular among both car enthusiasts and casual viewers is because of the high production values and the engaging narrative. Each episode is carefully crafted to highlight the unique features of the cars and the challenges that come with restoring them. Wayne is a key part of the show's success thanks to his expertise and affable personality. He's highly respected in the automotive world and is widely regarded as one of the best car restorers in the business. Fans of the show appreciate his attention to detail and his commitment to preserving the history of each car he works on, which over the years has featured a wide range of cars from different eras and manufacturers. One of the most memorable cars was a 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. This iconic sports car is one of the most sought-after classic cars in the world, and Wayne was able to find and restore one to its former glory. Another notable car featured in the show was a 1960 Cadillac Eldorado Biarritz convertible. This luxurious car was once owned by Hollywood legend Rita Hayworth, and Wayne was able to restore it to pristine condition, complete with all the original features and accessories. Other cars featured on Chasing Classic Cars include a 1934 Packard 12 convertible, a 1958 Porsche Speedster, a 1963 Chevrolet Cobbett split window coupe, and a 1967 Ferrari 275 GTB4. Over the years, Wayne has amassed a remarkable personal car collection that includes some of the most iconic and sought-after cars in the world. Of the standout cars in Wayne's collection, his most prized possession is a 1953 Hudson Italia. Designed by Frank Spring, this car has some of the most impressive specifications of its time. Despite its incredibly powerful engine, the car was very lightweight. It was also one of the first production cars to come with a built-in radio and air conditioning, features which are considered standard today. This car is incredibly rare, as only 26 models of it were ever produced. Wayne also owns a stunning Ford GT40 race car, which immediately draws attention with its red paint job. It's a real racing car made for the 1967 Can-Am racing season and driven by racing legends such as Peter Revson and Jack Brabham. With its powerful Ford 427 V8 engine, this car can really pick up speed. Other cars in Wayne's collection include a 1972 Porsche 911 Coupe, 
and several Ferraris such as a 275 GTB and an elegant 330 GTC. Also standing out is a 1949 Buick convertible, which was driven by Tom Cruise in the movie Rain Man. Wayne's car collection is not only a testament to his love of classic cars, but also a valuable historical record of automotive design and engineering. His passion for these cars is evident in everything he does, and he's widely regarded as one of the foremost experts on classic cars in the world. His collection is a true treasure trove of automotive history and design. From rare and valuable sports cars to luxurious classics, each car in the collection is a testament to Wayne's passion and expertise. In his personal life, Wayne has been married to Lori since the early 1980s and they have two children together. It's speculated that the two met when Lori was a customer of Wayne's shop. Their eldest daughter, Kimberly, has been diagnosed with autism at an early age. In his free time, Wayne enjoys skiing and is a licensed pilot, having flown his own plane for many years. He also owns a ski resort in Vermont, which he purchased and restored to its former glory. Despite his success, Wayne remains humble and down-to-earth. He's known for his friendly personality and his willingness to help others, and is highly respected in the automotive community. Wayne's success as a television personality coupled with his three companies have made him reasonably wealthy. His net worth sits at approximately $20 million as of 2023, which probably doesn't include the value of his car collection, which would be indeterminate until sold. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.